<coughs> Cooper Glover, 1972 here, of course, also known as Brian. And um, today I did my um, recent DVD pickups, and I mentioned that I, th I, I thought I might do my uh, shout-outs, and I decided to decided to do a video of my shout outs and I, I realized that I think I may have forgotten one or two or three people you know some that I might watch on a regular basis so my apologies in advance but there's a lot of people on this list um, there's 63 um, 63 channels I'm gonna mention I was going to print them at the bottom of the screen but that's too much work and it would take forever and I think I could get this video faster on YouTube um, if I just rattle off the names um, but anyways these are shout outs people I appreciate on YouTube and also I just I'm asking you um, if you if you you, you want to find out about uh, some YouTube channel that you're not familiar with and you want to uh, become familiar with it, then, you know, maybe my suggestions might sway you into watching one of their videos. So, okay, let's, let's get to it because it's a long list. So the first one is Aaron Pin. His first name is A-A-R-O-N. His last name is P-Y-N-N. He's on pretty constant on YouTube. Um, he does a lot of um, um, say he talks about sales coming going on, you know, DVD and Blu-ray sales. Um, he's got an immense collection of, of uh, movies, and um, he gives a lot of suggestions. A lot of people um, come on his streams. He, he's a very um, he comes on. At, different times of the day um, he can be on he's, he's on on the evening sometimes um, he can be on in the afternoons in the mornings too or even really late at night so uh, check his videos out or check he does well actually he does a lot of streaming so that's in that particular case you really um, streaming is where he's what he's what he really does so anyways the next one is need gore um, Need Gore is a horror. He likes a lot of ho horror movies, and uh, he does a, a fair amount of streams as well. Um, and he also does music, uh, like hip hop music, which is pretty good to lis listen to. Um, so check out Need Gore. Um, next up, Sexy Monkey, my friend uh, Sasha. Um, he shows a lot of his Blu-ray pickups. He's done streams in the past, um, and he does mashups, you know, of different types of movies, and tries to get re create a chain reaction of characters from different movies answering each other's responses, you know. So he's pretty cool. Uh, next one up is Gray, nineteen fifty-one. Um, so it's G R E Y. And then the number is one nine five one. His name's Mike. He does his he does pickups. He does reviews. His reviews are kind of interesting because I think he does a lot of research into the review. So it, it really makes for an interesting video. Um, and I, I love talking to him on his, on in the comments. And um, yeah, he shows. So any you know so. Um, his pickups are very interesting, what he has to say, his knowledge of old movies and, uh, you know, monster movies and, you know, Barbara Steele he likes. So, yeah, check that, check him out. Next up, we got Movie Man Jace. Um, he also has another channel, Jace, uh, but he's using Movie Man Jace currently. Um, so he's from Australia. Um, he basically does streams. He has done a few videos. I think those, maybe those videos are on Jace's regular channel, Jace. So J A S E, Movie Man Jace. Next up, we got Cinema Dave Media. He just, I, I believe, he's just started um, uh, 
putting videos up on YouTube. He's a recent, fairly new YouTuber. But uh, check out his videos. He's done a, done a few streams he did once a day. Um, and he, he, he lets people know about um, movies he and his wife have watched, um, things he's picked up. You know, so he's pretty interesting. Uh, so, you know, show him show him some support and watch his channel, watch some of his videos. Next up, we got Daisuke Bipu, D-A-I-S-U-K-E, and then B-E-P-P-U. He's a, I don't know if Daisuke is, and I, I think you're, I'm pronouncing your name right, uh, but uh, I don't know if he is uh, born in Japan or if he was born in America. But he lives in Tokyo, and he does streams of he he'll do streams of uh, uh, of like uh, a lot of he owns I think he owns all of the all, all of the films in the Criterion Collection, and he does these streams. Um, I think he usually reserves it for 6 a.m. Tokyo time. Um, so check him out. He's got some streams coming up. He's got one on um, Harris, Texas. I think the second to last Sunday of this month on August. And then he's got 12 Angry Men the following Saturday. And I think it's the first Saturday of September. I think it's the first one. It's, um, will be, it's Sunday, his time. I'm, I'm thinking of my time, Eastern time, Standard time. Um, it's, um, he'll be t doing Tokyo Story. So check his channel out. Next up, we got LJ Draco's movie channel. L, L, uh, LJ and then the next word is D R A C O apostrophe S movie channel. He does reviews of his. He, he likes uh, 3D uh, Blu-rays, and he 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 will review a movie. Um, he likes to do a lot of reviews of blue of 3D Blu-rays and tell about how effective they are and how you know how how um, good the the visuals are. As, as far as uh, the 3D goes, and he also rates the, the 2D presentation as well. He shows some pickups too, um, and he he has a his girlfriend Alice has her own channel, which I'll mention it later on in the in the video. I think I missed Alice's other channel in my I went down the side of my YouTube um, subscription, so I'm, I'm I apologize for anyone that you know, got pushed out of the way or forgot their other channel or whatever, you know, so, but I will mention the other one when I get there. Um, next up is Bronco Juggalo Talks Movies. That's B-R-O-N-C-O-J-U-G-G-A-L-O -G -G and then Talks Movies. So I, I guess his, his, his name is Brad. He does, um, he, he reviews horror movies. He's on a stream Fridays, and I think Saturdays, too. Um, maybe they're called the Slashback something brothers or challenge or, and it's the horror man, I, I, Joe, I, he's been hosting it, but now I guess uh, Brad maybe is hosting it, hosting those streams. Um, yeah, so anyways, check out his channel. It's pretty interesting stuff. Um, next up, I'm going to be going to, to uh, not just movie stuff, but other areas as well. Um, but, like, for example, music, because I have a few guitars and I have a MIDI keyboard and I've done some garage band music on, that I've put on my channel. But anyways, this is one of the people I, f I found on YouTube, and, and his name is Dave. And uh, so it's Dave, and then that's R, and then apostrophe S, guitars. And he... he he usually streams and he talks about uh, guitars and he plays the guitar a little while he's streaming. So check him out. Um, next up, we have a uh, married couple, um, and I'll mention both of their channels. The first one, first uh, person is CP. I think he's on live right now. Um, I don't know. I had to get this video done, but but check out his his stuff. He does. Um, uh, oh, his channel name is Will Scredia. I mean, um, 
in, in bold letters, it's W-I-L-I, -I, and then in small letters, it's S-C-R-E-D-I-A. So he, he does, um, like on Mondays, he, he does a tallying, is that the right word, of the box office of, of movies they've played in the theater, and like he and his friends um, determine, like, well, not determine, but they guess, they, they guess on, on what's going to succeed at the box office. And he does other videos. Well, I think, well, he does a fair amount of streaming as well during the week. So, yeah, check him out. His wife um, is, has a channel. Her name's Emily, and she, her, her channel is Emily's Adventures in Horrorland. She does some reviews of, of uh, horror movies. And uh, she also has done some streams where she watches a movie off of, yeah, usually, I guess it's YouTube, with a few other YouTubers and make some commentary as they're watching. Next up, we got Jen's reviews. Jen's review from the grave. I'm not too familiar with her channel because I've just come across her in a, in a stream. Um, she did a, um, a video about the top 10 favorite stand-up comedians that she likes. And her uh, friend next to her, I don't remember his name, but he, he listed his favorites. And she tagged... Um, Brad Bronco Juggalo um, to uh, whether he wanted to do the do the um, um, well no to you know ask him to do a, a list of top ten favorite stand up comedians and she encouraged anybody else to do it so I did it I did want a video on it as well but anyways I I'm not as familiar with her channel because I have haven't watched it that much so um, but anyways check her out so. Next up, we got Dave Maggot, um, M A G G O T. Um, he he put up a a, a, a documentary just recently, um, the B side of film. I can't remember the title, but yeah, he's got some interesting stuff on there. So go check him out. Um, and he has a friend. They they're on stream sometimes. Her name is Queenie Todd, K U W, I mean K W E E N Y, and then Todd, T O D D, all one word. So I think they both, you know, are into horror movies, and um, you know, that's a big, I, I guess that's their big deal, you know, that's what they like. I, you know, so, anyways, next up we have actually two channels by the same person. Um, his first channel is JTV, JVTV Uncut, and the second one is JVTV, BTV2. So it's lowercase J-A-Y-V-T-V, and then uppercase U-N-C-U-T. And the second one is J, lowercase J, lowercase V2V2. So he does videos. Usually people ask him, he gets a bunch of requests to um, com do some commentary on something that's happening at the moment, and he, he throws his two cents in and lets people know what he's thinking. Um, so check him out. Okay, so next up, um, maybe I have a little controversial one here, and I'm not trying to dig too much into politics and religion, really. Um, because I don't know where people stand on all those kinds of things. I don't think I'm really stand. I'm, I'm really promoting any political um, channels, but but this one's an atheist channel uh, because you know I'm an atheist. So I have a few atheist channels on here that I I don't know if I watch all the time or as much as I used to, but I, I think they're very good channels. Um, and the first one I'm going to mention is Jacqueline Glenn, uh, uppercase J, small, a lowercase A C L Y N, uppercase G, lowercase L E N N. So she doesn't do just do atheist videos. Um, she does you know humorous videos. She shows what people have sent her. She's a pretty big YouTuber. She's she's <coughs> excuse me. She's one of those YouTubers that has like a thousand subscribers. 
you know, so, um, yeah, so, and she's done some streaming, yeah, but, and she's going touring around America, you know, to, if you had to reserve a spot for her, um, might have to give some money to her, I don't know, she's, she's entertaining though, so check her out. Next up, we've got the Late Late Horror Show, a man named, uh, Dino, um, um, he hails from the same area that I was born, which is Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio. Um, anyways, he does a lot of horse stuff. Um, so, yeah, he, he, he talks. He's sometimes on streams with CP, but check his channel out. He's pretty interesting. <coughs> um, I'm into Japan, and I'm, oh, I'm trying to work, you know, try to save some money or, or in the process to trying to save some money, and I, I think I might have missed a few Japanese um, channels on here, like, oh, yeah, I, you know what, I think I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to add, I'm going to add one more to this list, because it's not on here, but I know I, I watch it all the time, and I highly recommend this as far as Japanese channels go, so it's Ask Japanese, A-S-K Japanese, and it's just this young woman, Kathy Cat, who interviews, uh, she interviews foreigners, like, what they think of Japan. She's basically in Tokyo, you know, when she interviews. And she talks with Japanese people. And you might, you basically have to go into the settings on YouTube, on the YouTube video, and, and put on the closed captions. Otherwise, you won't know what they're saying because they're speaking in Japanese. So you have to click on there. And then you can see what they're saying in Japanese. But she's pretty interesting. Uh, then we have Abroad in Japan. Uh, but I can't remember. There's another guy. He does live streams in Japan. I, I, maybe that's the one. Uh, John is his name, I believe. Um, I, don't, I don't know if that's his channel or not. I can't remember. Um, Maybe it'll come up. Maybe maybe it's only in Japan. I think it's only in Japan. That that's that might be this channel. But those are two channels. Next up, we got Horror DVD Devil. That's all one word. Three three three. He does some nifty animations. He does some music. Um, I think he does. I think he does some um, pickups. You know, movie pickups. Next up, we've got Greg Stott, G-R-I-G, and then the second word, S-T-O-T-T. -T. He's um, originally from Scotland. He, used, he was doing videos from Scotland when he lived there. <clears throat> but he moved to um, Canada. Uh, he moved to Ontario, I believe. Um, and um, so he's been doing videos there. So he, he does... Um, He's been he's done a few live streams and he's um, he, he does like photography of, of like nature around him or his family going to a restaurant so check him out he's a pretty interesting guy. Next up, um, LJ's girlfriend, her one of her channels, her name's Alice. It's called Alice Movie Talks ninety three. So check that out. Pretty interesting stuff. Next up, we've got um, Stanislaw's music creator. And I, I've been, I was looking on, I was clicking on the side, you know, the name and seeing what the content was. And I couldn't, I can't remember what, what's on your channel, but I'm promoting it. So, um, next up, we got another atheist. His name's Cult of Dusty, C-U-L-T-O-F-D-U-S-T-Y. So he's um, he's from the South. He's he grew up in Mississippi, um, and uh, he does his he 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 basically streams these days, but he used to do um, maybe he still does it. I'm not quite sure on that, but he used to do the what's it called. Um, the 10, um, I'm going to pause it for a second because I can't remember the name of it.
it's this month in religious bullshit, and I think it's usually ten uh, examples that he cites. So, but you know, I think um, I might be walking on eggshells with that comment. So I'm, I, I, I apologize to my friends on here who are religious or take offense to that kind of a thing. So, but you know, I, I find it interesting those videos. Um, but basically, these days he's doing a live stuff. Um, and I think it, they're Monday and Friday, if I'm not mistaken, at like nine o'clock. Oh, and I, I just found, I just thought of another channel that I don't have on here, uh, Fender, the guitar company. I'm not really saying, I'm not going to really list like, uh, Led Zeppelin or Pink Floyd or, um, you know that 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 kind of thing because you know everybody knows those and they're not really personal channels and of course they have millions of follows you know Queen is another you know so I don't have to list those but um, I'll just list Fender you Fender it's a Fender guitar company every Wednesday at eight o'clock they do a streaming um, episode and they they uh, cover a few songs. Um, they cover like, I don't know, five or six songs, and they talk about various guitars during each one, and um, I think they have a give out to somebody, like they give some, you know, uh, instruments out or whatever. So it's about a little less than half an hour, maybe 20, 25 minute uh, stream. So let's get back to this list here. Uh, okay, so now we have Rick Diato live. It's Rick, and his, sec his last name is B-E-A-T-O. He's got a lot of knowledge about music. He's very, um, he's very well steeped in, in, in music history and music theory. And, um, but he's, he's really knowledgeable. Um, check him out. Um, he's, he's, he's a bigger name. You know, he's probably known for a lot of people. And I found him because... Um, I thought Gibson Guitars was going to go out of business, so I, I, I put that in the browser, and that's how I found him. And um, what's the other thing I found on him? Uh, oh, Guitar Center, where I've bought some of my instruments. I said, is Guitar Center going to go out of business? And he did a stream on that with a few of his friends, so check him out. Next up, we got Rob's Movie Collection. Another uh, collector of movies. I, uh, next up, we got Robert Baker. He's a gu guitarist. He does a fair amount of streams. Uh, he, he talks about his guitars. I think he teaches guitar. Um, young guy. I don't know exactly how young. Another guitar person, the Tone King. I haven't watched the Tone King in a while, but check him out. Uh, so it's the Tone King, T-O-N-E, the Tone King. He's, he shows like... Um, gear or new gear or, or he assembles amps or uh, plays a guitar you know just another guitar person I follow uh, rocket jump I think they're film they're filmmaking um, a filmmaking cha channel so I'm into filmmaking so that's another thing and then uh, then we have uh, real talk film club which is basically not in existence anymore I was um, one of the comp people on the, vi the one of the members of it. But we did some reviews of some movies a few years back, and uh, yeah, so it's real talk is one world, one word, R E E L talk, and then film club is one word. So check that out. Next up, we got Jay Crash in the car, all one word. Another YouTube collect um, movie collector. <clears throat> Um, another person I come across, I don't know, within the last few months, and he's been on streams um, that I've been part of, either in the chat or on, or on the stream, but he, he, he's been um, active on Movie Man Jace's streams, and I saw that uh, looking on his channel, he had some videos on there. Maybe they're not, maybe his latest video wasn't New, the, the, 
he was a few years back. I'm, I'm not sure, but anyways, his channel is Brian Goes Blue, B R I A N Goes Blue, B L U. So check him out. <clears throat> Next up, we got Collative Learning, C O L L A T I V E Learning. It's hosted by Rob Ager, I believe, A G A G E R. And he analyzes movies, all kinds of movies, Kubrick and I, I, I can't remember all the people, but he, he's, he's, he's really interesting. He, you get some interesting theories behind films. Um, movie Reel Christiana, uh, movie, and then Reel, R-E-A-L, and then Christiana, C-R-I-S-T-I-A-N-A. Um, she, she lives in Europe. Um, I think it's Eastern Europe. Um, and I think, well, maybe she put up a video fairly recently, but she's put up movie reviews before. I think she did a review of Casablanca. And I think she's like a filmmaker. I, I think she made a short film that's on there. But anyways, check her out. Next up, we got Serial at Midnight. <laughs> He's, um, he, he collects things like, I, I think he picks up his, <clears throat> he picks up movie related stuff and not just, not just movies, but I think other memorabilia and he tries to get it at cheap prices. Maybe he goes to thrift stores or something like that. But anyways, check him out. I know I'm sort of rattling them off, but I got a lot of names. Next up, we got Ryan Chataway, R-Y-A-N, and then Chataway. C H A T T A W A Y. Of course, probably a lot of people know who he is by now. Um, he has a 24 hour movie marathon every year. And he has a video to, um, outlining the rules of how to um, do the, um, the, the uh, marathon. I've, I've done it last year, I did it in three eight hour blocks. Um, you could do it in like two 12-hour blocks. You could do it in literally 24 hours. But he, he started that a few years back, and it started picking up steam, and more people got on the bus and started to do their videos as well on it. <clears throat> so next up we got Bryn Dwyer, B-R-I-N-N-D-W-Y-E-R. -E um, he's a film collector, so take Take a look. Take a look at him. Next up, we've got Lawrence Collection. L a u, l a u r e n s, uh, collection. So I, she's just another movie collector. Um, the next up, we got, hey, Internet Eric here. And Eric spelled uh, E R I C. So he does film reviews. Um, He's done some streaming, um, and he comes on other streams, and he's uh, he's a good guy, you know, pretty pretty interesting stuff that he talks about. Um, next up, we got Rob Ager, just another sad, with the right word, be satellite, An another sister channel to his College of Learning channel, just another channel of his. Next up, we got. Uh, Amazing Atheist, another atheist channel that I follow. His name's TJ. And he's one of those guys like Cult of Dusty or Jack and Glenn that has thousands of followers. So he's one of those people. Next up, we got Anderton's Music Company. A-N-D-E-R-T-O-N-S, Music C-O. So I think they're, they're based in the UK. And um, they... Um, I think they try out gear and tell you what they think of it. Next up, we got Voodoo Magic, V-U-D-U, V-U-D-U, and then Magic. Uh, I, th I don't know if he's really done any videos currently, but I looked at his, his channel, and I saw a lot of uh, videos in the past, so you might want to check those out. He's on stream sometimes, usually in the, the chats. Again, another person that has some videos in the past that basically is streaming these days, I guess. Culture Trini. Well, he's not streaming. I don't know. He's he's on streams or he's in the chat box. Culture Trini. T-R-I. 
and I, you know, so that's him. <clears throat> Next up, we got J Mal, J possible, J period, and then M A L. Um, he might have, you know, I say Daisuke Beppu from Japan might have, well, he does, he does have all the criterions, but I, but J Mal might have them too. I, I think, I think he, I think, well, he's a lot of criterion, so this. <coughs> but I, I hasn't done a video for quite some time. Then we have another Japanese channel, Experience Japan with Yuka. Uh, last name is Y U K A. I don't know if I have to say uppercase, lowercase, because you'll just find them anyways, I think. Next up, another atheist channel, Dark Matter. 2525, 2525. He has like cartoons um, with the hypothetical kind of situations of sort of questioning things and making you think about things. But I don't want to rattle too many people. It's it just, you know, it's just what I watch. So I, I just want to give him a shout out. So next up, we got Channel Downstar. Um, channel and then separate word d-o-n-s-t-a-r uh, roger um he hasn't done a video for a while but he's he's done videos in the past he's done some streams um and he's he's got some interesting tastes in movies so check him out he's got his defending my collection videos next up we got disregarding henry he hasn't done he hasn't done a lot of um any Videos recently, I believe, but what he's left behind um, since since he's not been on is um, he he does analysis of all these movies and pretty cool. And he, he did some streams, you know, a back a ways, but they're pretty cool. So he's pre he's a pretty interesting guy. Check check him out. Next up, we got Scolder Twenty Two. I, I, I saw the Scalder, didn't I don't think he had a lot of um, movie collecting videos, but then I saw he had like a lot of shots of, of uh, out, outdoors where he lived, I get where he lives, or, or visiting places, other places in the world. So I thought maybe that'd be an interesting place to visit, you know, to visit those, to look at those videos was what I mean. Next up, we have Cameron Brown. Um, I think he's based in Scotland. He's, I, I'm not really familiar with him too much, but he's a guitarist. He's a young guy, really, maybe in his 20s, but uh, but he's just a guitar person, just another guitar person. Next up, we have Rob Chapman. I think he works for Andertons, um, but he's he's British, I believe, and he's you know he's a guitar person. So, next up is Empiricism. Empiricism. E M P I R I S M. Um, I think I think all of his videos are just uh, guitar pieces, but they're pretty cool. Uh, next up is a guy who, who I've worked with on films in the product, in, like as a PA for him. And tomorrow I'm gonna work on a film with him. I'm, I'm gonna be an extra. So, um, but his his channel is Scared Stiff TV. So check him out. Next, next one is the thirteenth Wolfman, T H E, and then numbers one three, and then letters T H W O L F M A N. So uh, he's like has over a thousand subscribers, and he's got some. I haven't watched everybody's videos, but I'm trying to spread the love and get, you know, get people to look into other people's stuff. I guess you know. Um, just trying to spread the spread more word around, I guess. Um, next up, we've got Trey Passer. I, I I don't know if I've watched some of Trey Passer's newer videos, but I have watched him in the past. Pretty interesting stuff. He also also has another channel. I I didn't write it down, but I think it's called Paul's Views and Opinions, and he tackles. Not uh, entertainment information, but the news, I believe, stuff in the news. So that's 
So that, that's a fray passer. Next up, we got Razor, Razor Wires Reviews. Um, I think his name is Luke. Um, I think he lives in uh, Scandinavia with his, I think that they're married, Connie, his wife, maybe. Um, but he, he collects movies, so check him out. I'm, I am close to the end now. I've got, um, let's see, four more names. Um, next is a filmmaker. I'm not really familiar with this channel, but I saw his film at, I think it was the New Haven Film Festival many years ago. His name is Virgil, V-I-R-G-I-L. His last name is W. Widrich. His last name is W I D R I C. H, and he has a film on there called Copy Shop, which is uh, C O P Y C A. I mean C O P Y S H O P. Copy Shop. It's in black and white, and it's a fantastic movie. Check check it out. It's only like I don't know five ten minutes. Next uh, ne next two are Film Ride and Rocket Jump Film School. I don't know. If well, I don't think Rocket Jump Film School has done any recent streams or videos for quite some time. And last up, we've got Learn Japanese with JapanesePod101.com. And I think it's the vid I think, yeah, I think they come on. I try to catch their streams. They, cheat, they, they teach Japanese. I think usually uh, there's a Japanese woman named Risa, R-I-S-A. And she teaches Japanese with another person on YouTube. Uh, but you can sign up to learn Japanese um, more in, in a more broader sense um, by signing up for their classes, you know, and learning how to read, write, and, and speak Japanese. And I, 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 I try to sign up for it, but I'm. I'm trying to fix credit card issues and trying to save money and everything. So I stopped on, on uh, the Japanese language courses, but not on YouTube, but I mean signing up for them because there were a lot of money. And But maybe I can pay for it later some down, somewhere down the line or fit it in somehow. But anyways, those are my shout outs. Um, thanks a lot for watching. That's about it. Um, I might, I don't know. Oh, I, I, you know, I forgot to mention that um, I'm getting, uh, I'm going to get fairly soon a, a battery for my Mac because my battery needs to re replace fairly soon. But anyways, once that's replaced, um, um, you know, I can keep going doing more stuff. You know, and I, I think after I get the battery, then maybe I'll do a stream of me doing a song with my guitar. Maybe my, add my MIDI keyboard. Maybe add another guitar, whatever. But, um, anyways, that that does it. Um, I might because I don't know how the streaming goes these days because of I don't know if it's Google Hangouts or whatever it was that I was using, and I I might do a test just to. Maybe I should have done this as a test. I don't know, but I might do a test just to figure out uh, um, how, to, how to live stream. Because if they change the setup, if they change the new format or whatever, I don't want to be uh, confused by the time I try to put on the, do the, try to do the song. And the song thing, by the way, um, I'm going to, it's going to be like a long stream, I think, maybe, I don't know. I know you can be on for eight hours, but maybe I'll do it on a Sunday because I have the day off on a Sunday. And, um, I, I, I don't know if I'd be, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, deliberately long, but, um, you know, I, I might be on for a while. And the GarageBand program will cover the cam, cover, not the camera, you'll see me on camera, but, it will cover the responses on the chat 
So I might have to say every so often that I can't see the chat because the GarageBand graphics are in front of the screen. Um, if so if you're watching it and you you're not what and you're wondering why I'm not at I'm not responding to your comments. So that's why I wanted to say. Um, and uh, yeah, so I guess that does it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, see you in the near future. Bye now.